The latest now a six news investigation when it comes to collecting unpaid property taxes. This practice by investors is legal in Nebraska and 11 additional states. However, the U.S. Supreme Court will be taking a hard look at whether it stays that way in the coming months. Prime Minister reports lawmakers, even county treasurers, are suggesting changes. Douglas County has millions in unpaid property taxes. It's been trying to collect from homeowners and business owners from 2021. Numbers big, $7.2 million. Because of that, 3,600 properties are up for bid now. I think unfortunately what happens is people ignore the problem sometimes thinking it's going to go away or they just may not be aware of it for some reason. Here's how it works. Investors agree to pay what's owed in the tax lien, continue to pay the property taxes the next three years, and then offer the home back to the owner for back taxes, fees, and 14% interest. If they don't pay, the investor now owns the place, can sell it, and keep all the profits. They're going to stand to make the money, and I won't have nothing after living here for 20, 25 years, and I won't get nothing out of it. It happened to Kevin Fair's Scotts Bluff home a few years ago. He started by owing $588. An investor paid that tax lien, and then it ballooned to $5,200. He couldn't afford to keep it. The only reason he's still living here is because he's taken the case to court. We issue the treasurer's deed, and then we're pretty much done with the process. Douglas County no Treasurer reason. John Ewing, who's been doing the job for 16 years, understands the frustration. He wonders why, if there's potential someone could lose their home, why is the treasurer's office involved? I would like to see the treasurers out of the tax deed business and I believe the best and fairest process for a homeowner is to go through a judicial process where you have a judge that is looking at all of the facts and making a determination on what should be done. Meanwhile, Nebraska lawmakers have proposed a couple changes, including one bill that would make the investor who sells a home give back the profits. The legislative hearings on those bills haven't been set. On your side in Omaha, Brian Mastry, 6 News. The Douglas County Treasurer tells Brian that out of the more than 10,000 notices of delinquent taxes the previous year, only 35 to 40 percent sold at the tax sale. The Treasurer sends out 210,000 property tax statements each year.